All right, Big Bang, today is Wednesday. It's June 5th. Welcome to the Dog Walk, presented by Barstool Sports. Free swim Wednesday. Um, here we are, recording a couple days early because we have a rat race tomorrow with Chris Clummer. Uh, so I'm excited to be running all about the city of Chicago. You uh, two are a team? We are a team. Chief and I are a team. Yep. I don't know how to feel about our odds. So for people that don't know, Rat Race is a uh, multiple leg race where you get a clue and you got to travel to the next station and they take away a mode of transportation and then the last team standing at the end wins. Mm -hmm. This is one of those things where we should be the favorites. We will be treated as the favorites. So if we win, it's like, oh, well, you've lived here forever. You should win. If we don't win, it's it's like a, it's an all lose situation for us. Yeah, but like obviously, I'm not fucking running fast. Like I'm not like we're gonna be. Yeah, but how much running is gonna be involved? I think more than the, well, I watched the first one. And it seemed like everyone was just kind of quick walking. It was just nice. Dude, I I'm not running. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not running. So it's me and you. It's Mincy and White Sox, Dave. <laughs> oh, uh, boy. <laughs> Yeah. End, up, end up in Wisconsin, which yeah. like they'll be able to move. Yeah, they, but, they're both runners. Yeah, but the yeah. the brain might be a little. Yeah, they're running behind. ten miles in the wrong direction. Yeah, so yeah. It can't, Dave, Dave is a runner and does like this is like logistics. Dave, where he knows, he knows well, if he knows how to where a thing is, he knows how to get there. He knows yeah. the layout of the city well. Dare I say they might be the favorites? They might be the favorites, but like. They both have to finish, and it's. I could see a situation where like Dave and Mincy just get like so frustrated with each other too. Yeah, there because it is like I haven't seen the the first one yet. I only saw the clips. It is like it's clues, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it'll be like uh, this cloud yeah. thing is proper is is commonly called this food group, and it's in Millennium. You know, yeah, yeah. Like that. Do we trust Clemmer to not send us to like bad parts of town by accident? <laughs> I don't know. That's the thing I'm interested because when yeah. he was talking about it, I was like, "Hey, uh, if you know, I could, I'll be down to help you produce it. Obviously, mm -hmm. I know the city well, um, but I wonder who helped him with the logistics of all that because there's really not many Chicago people in this office. Yeah, there is, and I know when he came out here for mini golf uh, in April, I th or maybe it was one of the things he was out here for in the last few months. Like he did, like he was like scouting the city. Yeah. So I think he kind of did it a lot by himself. And I do wonder if this is something where you got to play Clemmer, like you got to play Jeff in the dozen, where, <clears throat> like, I know Clemmer's, like, his sweet spot is, like, 80s baseball and movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, in my and head. He is, does, like, the old, like, the New York, uh, the history series he does. I, I haven't seen an episode in a while, but it's very cool. Like, yeah. could it be, like, the Masonic Temple, which is now the casino down there? Yeah. You know, stuff like that. Like, sh yeah, shit like that. Yeah. It's like, where was Uncle Buck's apartment? Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't I don't know how much we could say. We, I, I could see him uh, giving clues based upon street names, you know, for all the people who aren't from here. I think yeah. that'd be an easy way. Yeah. A lot of presidents in the mix and all I could that. See that. But States. one one big thing is... Hopefully they realize I, I watched the whole New York one and New York always has those bike carriages handy. We don't have those on just like a Monday or Tuesday. No, around those here. are like, I feel like those are United Center events only. Right. Yeah. yeah. The, rick, the rickshaws, the rickshaws, right? Rickshaws, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So you are really going to have to be running around and getting your steps in. Yeah, for sure. So we'll see. We'll see. Go out and get some new shoes. Uh, before we carry it on, I do want to talk about our friends at Roback. Chief, show the camera that beautiful polo. Nice dry fit. Yep. Shaves a couple strokes off your golf game. Yeah, I did it on Friday. So I just showed up at Rowback. I always I feel like I talk about it all the time, but I think it's because it's my favorite shirt is that uh, cherry blossom print. You just look like you look like a million bucks. Yep. So, uh, yeah, Robax, Robax, like my entire wardrobe from now until the end of the summer. It's a goat. Mm -hmm. It's a goat. Roback, that Azalea Collection's back for a limited time. Uh, they also have belt loop shorts. The stretch material are great on those. They're also breathable, easy to move in. Mm -hmm. If you're not a belt loop short guy, they got the everyday shorts. They have an elastic waistband for ultimate comfort and a great stretch fabric. They look nice when paired with a polo untucked or can be super versatile and easy to move out and about. Um, use code DOG on Roback.com for 20% off for all new customers through the end of this week. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. That's 20% off all polos, hoodies, and shorts with code DOG. That promo code will be invalid at the end of the week so make sure you jump on it quick use it use it um all right then anything else how's everybody weekend you did pop punk i did my fifth bachelor party with dana beers and tommy <laughs> smokes um i'm not sick it, this is like a miracle i yeah. feel good 
you know that clean missouri air yeah yeah it's yeah. scary i kind of got some of this too after like like last year I, I traveled a bunch and like come come like the third or fourth trip he's like whoa i i drank multiple days and i'm not sick anymore is yes. it good or a bad thing yeah, yeah. so you have like herd immunity <laughs> against right all now yeah that's yes, exactly no, it's, I feel good. Ozarks, uh, we, but I, like I said, I, I don't know if I, I fully said that on the show, right? About the, the series we're doing with Dana. Mm, uh, kinda. Kinda. We're looking for the best bachelor party destination in the South. And which ones have you done so far? Um, we have done Austin, Texas. We've done Florabama. So the mm -hmm. Alabama, yeah, Florida. That border. was the fish toss place, right? Yeah. It was a mullet toss. They yep. had like an event there where you throw a mullet fish mm -hmm. across the border. Uh, we did Charleston. Charleston, Myrtle Beach, and then last week we went to Lake of the Ozarks, and then we're doing Tampa. And we we think it's over them, but we might we might try to extend it. Extend it, it a little boondoggle. No, no, we just <laughs> we have so many other good places that we want to yeah like showcase. What other what else is on the list of candidates? I mean, do you, do you have to do Vegas then? And that's Nashville? what that's what we're saying. Yeah. So like we're like, well, do we have to do Vegas? It's really all about Pirate Water. Pirate Water's been awesome. Yeah, they're the um, best. Go check them out. They got a Wicked Tea out. That's fantastic. Very good. Um, you could find them at a bunch of Circle K locations. They're all over in Chicago too. So go go check them out because they've been the fuel for the trip for sure. Um, so we have vegas it's like ah fuck like we kind of need to do vegas too right right and then obviously you guys know i've been singing the praise of putting bay for years are oh, you going back we're trying dude we're trying it's I'm trying to think what else could even be on that list it's like i keep like i keep like hyping it up to dana about how big it is like how awesome putting bay yeah. is you i do think you should just do one here too because pe we get that question yeah all the time yeah you're right so like just doing one in chicago do a trolley do a cubs game what you know yeah uh, do the lake. Uh, whirly, whirly ball. <laughs> whirly ball. <laughs> yeah, let's get thirsty. Yeah. Whirly ball had its moment, but I feel like it's kind of over. Like yeah. I, I was driving around with my brother like a couple weeks ago. We passed, what's it on, like Ashland maybe? Like maybe. Midtown or something? By that Midtown Athletic Place. And um, he's like, what's whirly ball? And I'm like, let me tell you about 2011. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure people still You think so? Yeah. I mean, it's still in business, I guess. But like that, that was a big corporate kind of outing place too where i feel like oh we're gonna have a team building exercise we're gonna go play whirly ball yeah and i feel as though that's just not you don't hear about it in like just conversation like you used to context anymore. yeah i guess yeah. not but you definitely don't but yeah that doesn't mean people aren't going right nice winter I, activity i don't know how much it like transcends outside of chicago but if you're from chicago doing the chicago bachelor party it's usually in the mix mm. yeah that's interesting um so that there's they're, they're putting bay like i said and, and it i've just been explaining like this place to dana for years now it feels like and then uh when we were in charleston we were like filming and the stoolie came up to us and he was with his family and we were filming and she's like oh why are you guys in charleston this is not like a great bachelor party spot like yada 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 and then we're like all right what do you think is the best one and she's like putting bay ohio <laughs> and then instantly we looked at each other we're like fuck we gotta go to putting bay yeah so there's that um but i feel like charleston is a good spot i feel like it's more bachelorette personally yeah which in so turn many makes it a good bachelor right spot. and like there's great golf down there the weather is usually pretty good yeah, i don't know i feel it's like hot it's, though it is hot it my is bachelorette hot. are there females oh the girls there are yeah are there funner you? things for i've never been are there funner things for girls to do there than guys I don't know. It just feels like a gal's It's a girly of kind of thing. Yeah, it's it's, kind of everything's quaint. It's all sundresses. It's like, you know, old charm. It's a great, it's a great city though. Spanish moss on those trees. It's very cool. It's a very cool place. Great restaurants. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great restaurants. Yeah. It's nice. Uh, and then we talked about like, I mean, this is a home run. We got to try to do Atlantic City with Stu. Oh. <laughs> that would be. He's going to teach the hypothetical yeah, I mean, bachelor better, how to eat ass yeah you better you better <laughs> knock on wood three times if you're doing a bachelor party with Stu yeah. about not getting sick because that's that's a different animal. <laughs> so we talked about that and then we talked about like a cruise would be objectively funny content yeah you know yeah you ever heard of a bachelor party on a cruise is that common is gronk still doing his cruise tour i don't know if he i don't think so no yeah Fortunately. i don't i know i mean I, i'm sure it it happens uh it was more like i know people used to mix it into spring break a little bit i'd be interested to see like every every state's bachelor party equivalent to our chicago uh like just going to lake geneva 
Yeah. You know, yeah, like yeah, the low, yeah. like just getting a, a cabin for the boys in either Wisconsin, Indiana. So basically like an hour and a half, two hour drive. Cause yeah. that's, that's kind of what a lot of people do around here, especially. I kind of think older. I wish that it would go back to that. I feel like yeah, it kind of has though. You think so? Like, yeah. To I feel like people are still doing the extravagant. We're all flying somewhere. Mm. Yeah. I you mean, you guys I, are doing a whole video series on it. I guess it just depends. Yeah. But I've done definitely a good fair share of just the locals, the, the old new Buffalo, like, yeah. Ones. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'm sure like, I'm sure like Pennsylvania is like the Poconos. Yeah, New, spot. New York is like upstate. Right. Um, and then we, we've, we've obviously tossed New Orleans around out there, We've which is a great bachelor mm-hmm. party destination, and then Key West. So uh, that's kind of where we're at. We'll see. Yeah, you still, should, you still gotta um, basically hit the Mount Rushmore still. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. We'll see. But that was kind of the point where it's like everyone kind of knows Nashville. Like, yeah. I guess at this point. Uh, but I don't know. That's that's where we're at. But oh, Ozarks was fun. I don't know if you guys ever been. I don't know. I have not. It's uh, a, it's a, a very inconvenient place to get to. Really? You fly to St. Louis and then drive, right? You got to drive three hours. Yeah. From yeah, so you either drive, you either fly into Kansas City and you have a drive, or you fly into there and you have a drive. And the lake is such like the lake looks like a, it looks like a, a fucking pine leaf, you know, where it's like. <laughs> What does that mean? Like a pine leaf? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, hold on. I just me, wait to see what goes leaf, with it. Yeah. I mean, let me, look up, <laughs> let me look up a pine leaf to see if I got. Pine, the I mean, like there's little leaf. channels jutting out the side of a big. Yes, leaf. correctly. I was gonna say a marijuana leaf, but I don't think that has it. Yeah, like a pine leaf, kind of, almost, but not really at all. Like that. Th- that thing I mean, you, that thing you slap when you're testing your vertical. Whatever it's called. No, that's what is that? No, <laughs> but I, like like a pine. But tree. like like that. <laughs> Pull up the Lake of the Ozarks lands, please. I'm telling Are you, you looking for like the like the Canadian flag? It's a maple leaf. No, 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 no. I'm on the right track here. <laughs> that looks like a snake. That's a dude. snake from a uh, yeah. No, a snake is not twirly enough like this guy. Twirly? Or not even uh <laughs> It's a fucking snake, dude. No, no. Look up Lance, it's not what I need. Even just a map view. I think this is it, Ed. No, no, no. That's an overhead view. That doesn't even encapsulate see look at this thing i'd say that that's like a snake it's more of a river than a lake all right like. snake pine leaf we're fucking pine we're, leaf we're splitting hairs here now <laughs> it's uh, like a thorn branch yeah, yeah. yes but as it's you got all like see, a bunch of little inlets yes but as you can see by the road like it's hard to get to everything yeah yeah like you're, you're that's a it's big i didn't know yeah i didn't know it was that big so the fact that they love to tell everyone there is more um, water off the coast. It's not the coast, but more water, like property. There's a more coastal line. Does mm-hmm. that Coastline, make sense? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> In the Lake of the Ozarks than all of the state of yeah, Florida. Yeah, if you, pay, you find, get your own pine needle. Oh, is that right? The whole all state? All of the state of that Florida. That is surprising because Florida's got a massive coast. Yes. Yeah. Now, I've been passing that fact off like it's a fact uh, all weekend. Yeah. But- I don't, I, the, then it ends up like where it's all off to the left there. Is that like a whole different lake system? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, you see what I'm saying? So like yeah. if you're on, if you're on, so what I understand is the east side, the mo- mostly like St. Louis people have property over there. And then the west side is mostly Kansas City people. Interesting. Yeah. And then they don't like, it's they just such they a They don't pain. interact. They yeah. They hate each other. Well, if you're going like to like the Osage Beach to like Sunrise, like you have to look how far you got to get across. Yeah. So like water taxis are a thing. Like Can you go all the way down it if you have a boat. I this place. This looks kind of. I'm very intrigued by this now. Yeah, I, th- I love I, a good map. A map yeah. can sell me on anything. I believe it's man-made too. Um, oh really? Look into that though. I'm saying a lot here because because um, <laughs> that's like. Um, do you know where they have? We're like, gonna get the community notes on our promotional <laughs> clips for this. <laughs> you know, like or where they have Bonnaroo. Uh, yeah, down in yeah, like yeah, Manchester, yeah, yeah. Winchester, Tennessee, that is like a giant lake system too, and that's all, man. It was like the Tennessee Valley thing that uh, they're setting up all these power plants. They just flooded the whole, and, and same thing with that lake in Georgia that we did the podcast on. Mm. What was the name of that? I'm blanking on that right now. Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier, yeah. yeah where it's all just like man-made. They're like, all right, we're just filling up your whole community with water. Yeah. So I think that's how it was, but yeah, no, it's a lot of. Fun. It's like an old school podunk town. All, thing. is there like a is there like a lake geneva town somewhere along this where it's like actually nice oh dude there's fucking million dollar houses oh, okay all right. all right yeah there's like 
like they Brad Pitt had a house there. Pat oh, no Holmes shit. bought a house okay. there. Cher used to have a house there. Damn. This is all from my boat tour guide who was telling me this stuff. Um, but yeah, it's 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 big time. Like okay. there's a lot of there's a lot of money in that too. It's like a Midwest Nantucket or something like that. Yeah, pretty much for the it's people. Bougie. Yeah, for the right? people of Missouri. Yeah. yeah, but it's like there's if you own there, it's if probably. you own there, you probably like yeah. if you got a house in the lake, it's probably pretty, pretty fucking like nice. Big Cat yeah. says, it's like a retired pediatrician, retired orthodontist, all homes <laughs> on the lake. Yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, it was fun. We keep getting fucked on the weather on these. So out of the five we've gone to, only Austin had good weather, really. Huh. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you guys should have signed up for storm chasers instead. <laughs> yeah, ex- exactly. So hopefully Tampa in two weeks is treats us a little better. When's uh, hurricane season start? I think September. August. Right? So, yeah, yeah, well, September. Yeah. It'd be a real shame. I thought hurricane <laughs> season was over. <laughs> um, I, I this did bring me to my point though, because as I'm walking through. This whole process with Dana here, um, I think I am more pro being in a bachelor city kind of town versus like a big city. Does that make sense to you? No. Now, when I say that, I say the equivalent of going to college in a college town versus a city. So you go to college in, you know. Yeah, you're going to Columbia versus going to DePaul. Like Columbia, Missouri versus DePaul. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Correct. Columbia, Missouri is a college town, to Mm -hmm. my knowledge. Yeah. Carbondale is a college town. Yeah. Uh, That, that, I definitely agree with that for college. I'm not sure I know what you mean for. I, you think they cater more to you? Yeah, I think it's more yes. like suited for degenerates. Almost. Correct. Yes. Whereas, like you got to, like if you're doing one in Chicago, you're getting on that architecture tour boat with a bunch of tourists and families. Yes. Yeah. So that's why, like, okay. and when I say that, I think of cities like the Ozarks and I think of Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Versus like the big box Charlestons and the mm-hmm. big box Austins. You know, uh, I think I'm, I think I'm that kind of guy because I just want to sit out there and just. Just be a fucking scumbag with my friends, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I say, like, be a, I'm not, like, actual be a scumbag. Right. But just, like, smoke cigs and, yeah, like, be get gross. hammered. Be yeah, gross. exactly. Yeah. And just, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Not worried about fucking putting on our best club outfit. Or, like. You know, if someone wants to yeah. wear the tank top that they wore on the boat to the fucking bar that night, yeah, go for go it. Go for it. Bro. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's actually, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good I think point. I'm on to something. Yeah, there is something to that. Big time. Half the time in a in a uh, bachelor party town, you don't even have to like make a reservation. You just fucking walk in. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, little things. I don't want to be- No shoes, no shirt, no problem. Right. Yeah. You don't want to yes. be swearing or lighting <laughs> up cigs in front of a yeah. kid that's at the same beach as you or something. Yes. You know? Okay. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a, a normal take. Yeah, I'm that's workshopping it. Yeah. it. yeah, so I'm glad I, I'm glad I went over well here because that's what I'm going through this with Dana. I'm like, Dana, like, where are you actually going to have this? And he's like really undecided. He doesn't know for his own. Yes, for his, his real for his one. own one. Yeah. yeah. Do you and think he, you get the invite to that, or, or or is he like I've actually done seven with Eddie, so I don't. He he said Eddie, Eddie's been on seven of my bachelor parties <laughs> yeah. already. He, he said yesterday that I am. He's yeah. like I I don't know how I couldn't invite you. Yeah. I mean it would be like. I, <laughs> Yeah, so that will be that yeah, will be. You might thing. actually have to plan it. Know who's <laughs> more well versed in it than you. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think that's my takeaway. Is I think people need to really look into more of those those core kind of out of the way ones. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. There's there's a time and place in bachelor, for a bachelor party. Yeah, yeah. It's in a bachelor town, you want to yes. be a little scuzzy. Yeah, maybe that's it. maybe like we we've talked about it a long time, but Windsor, Canada. Put it that put instead of Putin Bay, yes. go to Windsor. Yeah, Putin, Windsor is yeah. scuzz. Yeah, it's on the lake too. Yes. Yeah, I almost feel like you shouldn't have a bachelor party in somewhere you've never been, but just want to visit. Like if you've never been to Vegas, I don't know if I would do. Yeah, it's like too much. Yeah, because you want to actually experience Vegas, but when you're going there for a bachelor party, it's a whole different ball game. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good point. I like that take too. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. It's like a science. That's where I'm at. Yeah. So I have a question. I'll, I'll let you guys think about answer because it might be hard while I while I give my example. Do you have like a problem or something you have to deal with? Call it like every two, three years, but like consistently throughout your life. So last night, my example, I uh, wake up in the middle of the night and um, I feel like snot coming down on my face or I feel it on my lips. 
and um, I'm like, all right, it's it's pitch black, can't see anything, <clears throat> and I go to the bathroom, I'm wiping my nose, and I turn the lights on, and I just get a random bloody nose, and I look at the damage. There's blood all over the walls. There's uh, blood all over. What? O- the blood on the wall because of when I turned the lights on, and okay. I didn't realize it was right. on my hand. Right. There's blood on my sheets. There was a little on the carpet. Just brutal. Like, I have to figure out how to get blood off my walls because I got a bloody nose at four yeah. in the morning. Have fun Googling that. Uh, brutal. <laughs> yeah. But it, it, it like, I, when I turn the lights on, I look like I just got done feasting on a deer carcass. It, my mustache was soaked. How often are you guys getting bloody noses? And we're not talking, like, I think it's maybe it just gets a little dry, but this thing is pouring. This thing is great Wolf Lodge bucket from my nose to my mouth. I have questions. Sure. Before I do, though, I will say, I guess it maybe applies, maybe doesn't apply, but I always used to get the shits on Friday the 13th. <laughs> That's pure mental. You got that the yips. That can't be a thing. <laughs> Tell him. I, I got a buddy that texts me every Friday the 13th. Like, He's how's like, your hey, balls? How you holding up? I remember maybe it was 2022. We had like four Friday the 13th. Yeah. So you you had IBS next? that year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I basically. We got to have another one this basically. year, right? Period cycle. Um, De- all right. September. We'll, we'll have to circle back on this. September is going to have a Friday the 13th. How do you explain that to like a girl? If it happens. Yeah. The nose. Have you ever been in that situation? Yeah. Yeah. And it was, it was my freshman year in college. It was actually a fucking nightmare. Luckily it was just on me, but <laughs> I was in the dorms and I was the storm. I was at Iowa and the building, it was like, Half the, the floors were divided. So boys and girls were going to be on the same yeah. floor, but it, w- it was divided. And I turned on like her sink light and I realized I wasn't boogers. It was actually blood fucking everywhere. And I didn't want to wake her, but I was like, I need to get to this all girls bathroom and wipe myself off before someone sees me. If a, like if a girl were to see me just going down the hall, I think it was like three in the morning with all this blood on me because there was no like paper towels to wipe it off before I went to the bathroom. They would have thought I just got stabbed in the face and shrieked. So I was like, all right, maybe I could beeline and go to the boy side because I have a much better chance of a boy not screaming bloody murder or once he sees blood mm-hmm. all over my face. And I remember she, I it got to a point where I was like, all right, maybe I'll just wake her up. She's tossing anyways. And I was like, do you have a, do you have a towel I could use? <laughs> and when you're in, when you're in college, towels are sacred. Yeah. Dude, you can't be giving up. If she has like four in rotation, she's using one on me. And she was like, oh, like, yeah, but like you're you're gonna have to wash it, which would mean I have to like walk out of there with a bloody towel and probably bloody shirt in a bag. Yeah. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try uh just escaping. Damn, first of all, that's kinda shitty. Just throw the towel in the wash. She, oh, but you have to take it with you and wash it? Well, yeah, I mean Dude, washing towels in the dorm sucked. Yeah, yeah, but like come on. Well, God, that's not, but okay. You also have to pay, and that's a single load right there. One bloody towel. Yeah, here, here's the the here's real quarters. The real yeah, the real bad issue in that was like you're gonna make me leave with a bloody towel. I'll wash it, no problem. I just don't want people to see blood dripping mm-hmm. out of this out of this jewel bag when I walk out of here. But I made it to the bathroom. Everything worked out fine, and it was good. Yeah, and it was never saw again. Situation where everyone thought, <laughs> yeah, no <that>. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're better off. She should have just given you that towel. And she didn't. Did she see the blood though? Yeah. Yeah. Was she like, oh my god, it's my time of the month? Like, was she was she concerned? Or was it very obvious that you had the faucet? Part of me thinks the blood is less embarrassing than having uncontrollable snots in bed with a girl. Sure, just stains though. I mean, yeah, she saw it. She saw it all dried on my face because again, <sighs> yeah. But yeah, besides the Friday the Thirteenth shits, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard one to think of on the spot. I do feel like. Like, this is such an old man comment, but I do feel like everything that I've had surgery on, if there's like certain weather, like everything just like clicks and pops and is sore. I have been in a battle with the IRS since 2010. It happens every single year. Have I told that story before? That's, that's oh, a good, that's a good example. Yeah. Dealing with people like that. So when I, my first year out of college was 09 and that was like the first year when the stock market started going up a lot. So I had a Scott trade account and I was just like, I am fucking Wolf of Wall Street because the market was going up and I was just making a lot of money. So then turns out I didn't know dick about the stock market. Next year when things corrected, I was losing a lot of money and decided I'm just going to take all the money. I never like cashed out 
of the Scott Trade account when I was making all the money. So it was just in there. So then I took it all out and I ended up being like down, I don't know, a little bit. And so Scott Trade sent the report in, but they only sent it in as I made all this money. But I was basically like basically net even. So I had they were saying I had to pay capital gains, which I didn't. They only reported it as like they they had they have changed the way they report it. But now I, I've I'd say like seven out of the last eight years, something like that, I've had to call up like cause Scott Trade got bought. I have to get all the files. Now I like have them, but I have to fill out paperwork every year saying that I didn't actually make like whatever the number was. Uh, because, so it's like every single year I get a notice from the IRS saying you actually owe this from 2010. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is Great it, example. So yeah. like an astronomical amount? No. Well, for me, it, yeah. it, and it always has like when it, the first time I got it, I like panicked. I like called my dad. I'm like, the IRS is saying I owe, I think it's like, it was like $6,000. Yeah. And it's like, he's like, well, how, what was like, what are you not taking care of? I'm like, no, like this is like, I don't like, that's not how it, he's like, that's how tax. I'm like, no, this is not the situation. And then, cause they were, they would start saying like, and you have like fees on top of it. It was a nightmare. So then I finally like got it resolved. And then I got the same letter the next year. And then one year I didn't get it. And then I got it again. And they, but they listed the year I didn't get the note. So it's always been like clockwork every every oh i hate that every may i get a notice from that is IRS. fucking terrible yeah but and six grand is too much to be like you know what i'm just gonna fucking pay this shit so i don't have to see it again yeah and it yeah. keeps like going up like the original number wasn't like six grand but it was like because they keep saying like i'm not you're like late fees and shit yeah like interest and all like it's like no like i never actually owed it to begin with but there are years where like i didn't get my return because they're like you owe back taxes on this it's like you guys keep fucking this up every single year it's on you yeah so well, now they hired like a hundred thousand new agents or something right <sighs> don't get me started on that so now one might get settled now someone's gonna cr- oh you think that's what they that's what's gonna happen this is fucking red ed <laughs> no, red ed loves having the I, irs have an extra hundred thousand dollars yeah you were a hundred thousand agents yeah must be working for them. Maybe there's someone who's listening that could help maybe, me out. Maybe the Fourth Amendment ensures my right to privacy and they shouldn't have to know every dollar that I make just to hand it over oh. to them. They fine you for working. Cook. That's what it is. Let them cook. Thank you. But yeah, even like having to go to the dentist once a year could apply to this, mm-hmm. which is a pain. Eye doctor, that's a big one for me. So I went to the dentist like a week ago, maybe longer ago than that. But I, during some point during COVID, I had a molar that cracked in the back. <sighs> and bled everywhere and like the piece of the tooth is just missing and i just so i floss back there i got like one of those sonic air toothbrushes i take really good care of that area and so i finally like went to the dentist after like years of just having this issue and they're like we could either we could extract it i'm like why i'm like it doesn't he's like is it painful i'm like no like and he's like, well, I think we, he's like, um, he's like, it's not infected. It's not anything, but he's like, eventually you're going to have to get that tooth like pulled out. Why? Cause they're just saying like, it could cause like if something gets caught back there and I'm, if I'm like lazy about uh-huh. taking care of it. Uh, so I don't even know like how it happened. I remember like where I was, I was walking the dog on Hoyne and I like felt it and I like spit and I spit like, <laughs> like a big thing of blood and like yeah. a little bit of the like the little bit of the tooth it's like one corner of the molar in the back disgusting did a girl give you the towel Get no the i was out. seeing this girl at the time who she thought i was trying to get out of a date <laughs> <laughs> and then i like sent her a picture on the inside of my mouth and she was a nurse and she like the next day like brought over like all she was super nice brought over like all the, these like gauze and like all like nursing shit laughing oh, yes yeah that's very nice yeah it was very nice it gauzed your mouth up a little bit yeah <laughs> helped I'm trying Dude, to so when the when the dentist asked you how long ago did this happen do you lie or are you like ah, no, it's I, been about it was, two years. I said it was during covid and it was like impossible which was true it was impossible to get a dental appointment at that point so i i'd say like passport applies to your thing mm-hmm getting a passport yeah like just and same thing like i i don't even know when my tsa pre-check is up but like i just sign me to a lifetime deal i'll pay whatever like you know <laughs> yeah. i don't want to keep reading yeah. that yeah passport i see like everyone complains about that one but when i had and this was right before covid we had the chicklets cup in canada so i had to and mine had expired i got it all done and then received it in like 
seven days. Really? Didn't pay like some exorbitant fee because they're always like, oh, you're going to get it rushed. It was like the easiest thing ever. I feel like that's a myth. Really? I've been putting putting off getting mine for like months now. And like I have the paperwork printed out that applies to what we were talking about a couple episodes ago. What's like a, a problem you deal with every day that's easily solvable. You just put it off. I have three parking tickets in my car right now. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one though. Yeah. Like city sticker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they make you do it every year. Yep. So, well, you could get a two year option too. And that's what I did last time. I was like, I'm tired of yeah. doing this every fucking time. There's that. And then you got to wait in a long ass line mm-hmm. or DMV or license like that. Legitimately, sucks. so they have like the day passes for you know my neighborhood. Yeah. So I still have never gotten the, like the actual city sticker. I just every day I'll just put the little thing on there, the little day pass sticker. That's of, crazy. I understand, but those they those sheets are so cheap. So they they get you. I think you get like forty eight for like twenty bucks. So do you have a city sticker? No. You just have to go to currency exchange. Okay, well, I didn't know that. But don't they they make you write the date on there though, right? Yeah. So it's like a little annoying, but it's not like Oh, right. so you're not you're not I thought for, I had to you're not down. forging a new date. You're no, no, actually Oh, no. no, dude, that's easy. I thought I had to go down to city hall for that. No, no, no. It's like 20 bucks more if you go to currency exchange, but Oh, okay. Well, then that's yeah. easy. No, yeah. And then you need a little, little Yeah. Like I thought you had like, to, like I guess it's not that big of a pain in the ass, but it's like I thought you had to like prove like your residence and like bring so like I'd have to like bring my bills and like all like the shit to get your sticker. It's you might have to, but like, I don't know. I don't remember doing that when I bought. Because I tried to get it at my alderman because it was on Sheffield right by our old office. And then I go, we don't do that here. You have to go to City Hall. Yeah. That's what they told me. So I'm like, just no, go to, go to Currency Exchange. Okay. Like, hey, I need my city sticker. Okay. See what they say. You might need like your title and all that shit it's just to prove it. But yeah, see, you could, you could get that done. Yeah. I believe in you. All right. Uh, anything else? <laughs> I got yelled at for having poor sportsmanship by Jake Marsh. Oh, yeah. I was pickleball. It was fun. I like playing pickleball. I've only played, I think this is the fourth time in my life I've ever played. The The venue was cool out. And, uh, and this is like one of those things where Jake asked me like, oh, like a month or two ago. And Dude, you like, don't, and you like, don't want to get Jake Marsh mad at you. Yeah. You must have did something real mad. It's like All Mother, Mother did, Teresa getting We pissed. won a game and I had like, you know, spiked it down to the guy's foot to win. <laughs> And then I like, you know, we had like the Blutman was there doing social. So I went over to the camera because I was like, this was, you know, part of our job to do stuff like that. And like, I hear over my shoulder being like, chief, chief, shake his hand, sportsmanship. And he was not joking. <laughs> he was like dead serious that I like showed poor sportsmanship in the pickleball tournament. I love that. Yeah. Did you apologize to him? No. <laughs> I said I'm I am anti sportsmanship, Jake. I did like shake their hand eventually, but did like, he know that it's like you were just trying to ham it up for the cameras? I mean, he knew the cameras were there the whole time. The whole they, like Blutman or somebody else were were, were always Brandon Jones. They're always filming the entire time. So how does he do with s- separating, uh, you know, the art from the artist? Is he good at that? Who Jake? Yeah, I wonder. At least you think I'm like a scumbag now? Well, I don't know. Like, Probably does, but like I, I am like anti sportsmanship in general. Like, who fucking cares? I hate that. I never helped anybody up playing. Like, I just don't do that. Yeah, but, but it's a larger, larger part of the conversation here, man. Like, well, well, wait, say it again. What you were gonna shake their hands anyways, right? So, eventually, so, yeah. So I like I walked to the camera first, but I didn't like immediately go up to the net and like shake their hands across the net. And say, oh, match. yeah, that's yeah. that's fine. Yeah, I mean, this is a larger part of the conversation. Which part? What do you mean? Like, sports are a very formative thing for children. And, like, if you want sure. people not to be a dickhead, you know? Yeah, like, but, like... You need to kind of teach well, them that. It's the same as Jake being like, I'm the best in the office. True. I'm the best in the office. I'm the best one here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he. I think he did shake his hand literally a second after. Yeah. Me. Yeah. But they they had a... Uh, they had the, uh, cam in the sky so he didn't have to like look for a camera yeah. like you did yeah. yeah like do you agree with sportsmanship and youth sports to a degree all right then you have no right to ever complain about someone who i'm taking it there okay you have no right to ever complain about someone who doesn't give you the wave in traffic you have no right no to that's like we're living either. in a society i'm not competing against the person i'm not racing the person in traffic that's a way to, we are com- if we're competing listen that's no 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 listen that's insane listen that's insane what you just said that no, was not. come up with a better analogy no it's not why no, it's not why I'm saying like that's where you start learning that shit from like Letting listen, people in traffic that's where you start learning basic manners dude 
I think you learn your basic manners from your parents. But like if we're competing at something, I'm not trying to help you beat me. If we're driving in traffic and I can help you get home and help you instead of sitting there all day, yeah, I'll let you in. Yeah, it's not buddy buddy. I'm not saying you have to be buddy buddy, but like common courtesy is uh, fine. This is like sports. you want to give everybody a fucking participation at all. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. You should be. You That's should play to said. win, and you should be celebrating when you win, and you shouldn't be, have the fake nicey nicies. Well, okay. That's what I'm saying. All right. But the celebration was fine. It was just you yeah. basically paused the sport. Well, I think you just don't want it. Like I think he was anti. Celebrating, celebrating. Oh, okay. In that moment. Oh, I thought yeah. you meant like he thought you were never going to shake their hand when really you were just posing. For I mean, I pr- I didn't realize that you was like a decorum for when you're supposed to shake hands and like if the you win you just like I I was kind of like at the net and then walked to the back of the court and then I thought we'd shake hands like uh, walking off the court. But if we didn't, I wouldn't care either. Uh I that was crazy by you. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. Do you want you want nine year olds to be throwing their fucking shoes into the bleachers and just being sore losers and sore sports? There is a difference, but like, that's not the same. I'm not saying you should it. be upset if you lose. Yeah, if, if my kid you, and I'm fine. Don't with you don't that. want to throw a temper tantrum? But I think there's a basic decorum you could follow where it's like, hey, like good game. That's it. Yeah, you could say good game. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. saying the giving the wave in traffic. Pro move, blow a kiss if you're really happy that they let you in. And shaking hands in sports fall under just like good etiquette in general. Yeah, I think you learn. It's like, hey, this is how you, this is how you act. I do. But sometimes I don't even want to say good game. I don't want to say, you're a fucking prick. And I got to say a fake. I nice think that's nice fine game. after you've established yourself as, your, as a person, you're older, whatever. Yeah. No problem with it. Like, I don't like, of course, you didn't need to do that there. Like that's okay. not going to dictate how you were. Yeah, I'm saying like there needs to be like there there's a basic a, respect level. Yes, it needs to be yes. shown, or else like, sure. you think fucking umpires got a bad now. It's going to be fucking our you guy think George. Yeah, you think there's fights in hockey stands now? Like, but it I would think be there, insane. But there should be more fights in hockey. There should like Pete. You should be competing to win. Is all I'm oh, saying. My, I hope your kid is the absolute <laughs> terrorist of the team. Chief said no, because I wouldn't allow. There's a there's a line that I think has moved back towards too much. All right, so if pussiness. your kid if your kid's in the line and your kid refuses to go to the handshake line, it's like fuck that team. No, you like, okay he's, in, he's in trouble. Yeah, Chief no, in why? Trouble. You don't like sports? No, no, no. Because nope. I I nope. determine nope. where the he line w- is. He wanted to win. No, you he want to just win. have everybody that they're nicey nice and they're yeah. Well, yeah, you should want to win. You should begrudgingly shake their hand. Well, I don't. Your kid's gonna be a fucking asshole. Yeah. It's gonna be heavy. I'd rather have him be an asshole than a pussy. If I'm it's being gonna, honest, there's you, and being a fucking good sport is not. There's a pussy. something in between. What yes, we're there is saying, something, between, and that's what, what I'm saying, saying too. No, I you're saying it's one or the other. No, I'm not. No, you I'm should not. begrudgingly your kid's have be to be fucking a good sport. Cutting people off in traffic, he's gonna have the no, fucking he's not, kid I don't pissing do that. on fucking etiquette on the bumper sticker. He's gonna have the kid pissing on basic etiquette as his bump. Yeah, Calvin pissing his basic. Chiefs about to be the, the Draymond Green of pickleball. <laughs> I, don't ha- I don't hate Draymond Green. I think he takes it a little bit too far, but a little bit. Gee, a but little bit. He a fucking little bit. chokes him out. He punches his teammate in the face. Well, I, don't, I don't know he what led up to, to win that. I don't, Jordan punches his teammate in the face. I don't hear you Every crying about Jordan. I see of people attacking the refs or people fighting. I'm just going to be like, this is what you No, it's not. Because have I ever done? Have I ever attacked a ref? No. This is what baby Barada is going to turn into. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, we play to win. Yeah, no, not like... Yeah. Isn't it? Once you say it's kind of more boss though, if you if you beat them and like you're like a Steph Curry, where like you you beat the shit out of them and still go shake their hand. Yeah, but like you probably fucking hate the videos where they let the handicap kid score. <laughs> That's who you are, dude. That's who you're telling me you are right now. All right, I'll give you. Uh, do you remember? He didn't respond to that. No, I'll, yeah, I'm, he, I'm he giving, hated uh, the uh, blind lineman. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. I uh, no, because that's like a charity thing. That's different. But I will say, d- there was a, a women's player. I think her name was Maya Moore, but she was two points away from being the all-time leading scorer in women's college. She played for UConn back in the day. She tore ACL. So they did a tip-off where they like had Maya Moore stand her, and I think I can't remember if that was her name or not. But they had her stand underneath the basket in a in an NCAA game. They UConn, they let UConn win the tip. They pass it down to Maya Moore. She scores the basket. She's the all-time leading scorer. Timeout celebration. Maya Moore limps off the court. 
you know, with her brace and everything. They let the other team go get two points. We're tied 2-2. That, to me, is fucking bullshit. She didn't. She got hurt. That's part of the game. You're not the all-time leading scorer. Like, that is, you would call that sportsmanship. I would call that fraud. You're just using the absolutely extreme example. You, you said my kids would be cutting people off in traffic and basically be grow up to be murderers. And yeah. then you said, I hate when they a let. Murder. Who said murder? That, that's a, what you were basically saying. And then you said that, uh, like, what was the other thing you just said? That I hate when they do the nice things for the kids that have <laughs> different special needs. That's not the same thing. No. But the, my line is they should not have let that girl get the point. She didn't. She tore ACL. Sorry, those are the breaks. Here's a relevant example. And that's not good sportsmanship. Did you like uh, that girl pushing down Caitlin Clark? I did not like it. Wow. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> I thought it was fine. Get up and play. That girl stinks because first she did that. There was no, there was no way it could have been seen as like she was boxing her out. Yeah, and she wouldn't even talk to the media about it. Pussy. Oh, that I think you're a, you're a pussy too. And I I also I like the way Caitlin Clark's handling it too. Like yeah. Caitlin Clark, she and I I also think you have an Indiana Chicago rivalry, and it feels like it's a genuine rivalry. Like there's eyeballs on the WNBA. They might not like her for a a variety of reasons but she is a star and stars always like jordan got fucking assaulted by the pistons and the knicks sure like, that's just part of playing sports if there was a ball in the air they were both going for and that happens totally fine the ball wasn't even by her and she's i don't know yeah, that, check. That, that's just that girl's an asshole i still think they're competing at the highest level and i don't really hate like a little physicality and a little intimidation i thought it was like call the foul it was a foul flagrant whatever put her on the line that's that sports. Uh, see, that's where like, I think we're gonna be like, okay, maybe we're not as far as part as we thought because I don't care about that either because I think in in the long term it's good for the game. I think yeah, like it's good for storylines. People are gonna be talking about right. it. Well, and and that, that that chick's an asshole. Don't right, she's wrong, an asshole. But like, my line for that is: was there a genuine attempt to injure? And I would say no. She no. gave her like a little extra. It was an extra curricular. Okay, and gave her a bump and knocked her down and yeah. whatever. It's just, yeah. Like if she tried to do something where like I'm gonna intentionally roll her ankle or then like kick her out that's of the league, up, yes. that's fucked up. But um, if that I thought was I was basically fine with. But it. my take is, they're professionals. So yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just want youth sports to like learn some good manners, which you're apparently against. Yeah. Now, like if, can you, do, if you two see things, you can two things can be accomplished at the same time. But like if you were to see uh like a like a Draymond Green, like I said, in the Pee Wee Leagues, are you going to try to stop that? Of course, it's good for the sport once they're actually professional promoting the sport, but they were a kid at one point playing like yeah, that. Yeah, you have so to stop what, that. Brat, dude, what's brat the age? kids in sports were the worst, man. Who? Kids who were brats in sport. Like, you're – like, But the, I don't think and, and, and it, I don't think it's going to traject well for you as a person if you're a fucking piece of shit as a kid playing sports. You see your kid do the uh, Allen Iverson step over – I don't hate that. I, I mean, he's like that. seven. You're like, okay, well, kid. I mean, yeah, he's gonna you, want his kid moving. No, the Eddie bench wants to be like, like oh, Randy Moss. No, Eddie's gonna be the, want the kid who the ump makes a bad call and he goes and tells the ump, "Hey, you actually, I was actually out on that." No, I'm yeah, not. That's, my kid's gonna be fucking hand no, football to the referee like <laughs> fucking Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders, did. that's fine, and that's yeah. fucking cool. I agree. I that's agree how it's that. gonna be. Yeah, I don't like the showboating. Yeah, right. But I don't mind a little taunting, a little physicality. After a play, there's yeah. a big you're hit. I don't think you need to Nick, help up the other team. You're gonna, oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. You're going to have Nick Young, Swaggy P, throwing up threes and putting his hands No, up that won't be out. allowed. That'll be you. There's a, <laughs> this is slander. This only is only to go th D3. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes. exactly. Strong D3 genes. Disgusting mm. conversation. Whatever. Yep. Weigh in. Let us know what you think. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys fight like this, man, about Chiefs hypothetical kids. I hope they play each other in sport. Someday, I, my Eddie's kid, would, kid my and kid would kid. win. Well, <laughs> he'd, he would he'd play harder just because he might be taller. We have like a, <laughs> we have a little Giants movie in the making. You guys are the two O'Shea brothers. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. man! All right, we could wrap this up. Uh, thanks everyone for listening. We'll see you guys tomorrow.